Hi everyone, I'm Jens Harms. I'm a DOP and colorist based in Berlin, Germany. For my color work, I use ColorLab AI and Look Designer. Tools that save me a ton of time. In Look Designer, I will take you through the process of creating your own show LUT. The show LUT that you can take to the shoot, preview your dailies with, and that you can pass on to post-production. I will show you how ColorLab AI balances and color corrects entire groups of shots with just a few clicks. We'll be working on some footage from a film I recently shot in France. It's a portrait about a legendary racing car from 1965, the Shelby Daytona Cobra. Let's enjoy the ride and push the pedal to the metal. Now I'm in DaVinci Resolve, where I set my fixed node tree for this project. Until now it is empty. First I want to check my settings. Under Color Management, Lookup Tables, set the Lookup Table Interpolation to Tetrahedral for best results. I'm fetching Look Designer from the OFX plugins and make sure to choose the right corresponding input profile for my camera. For the output profile, I want Ari White Gamut Log C in order to be able to stay in scene referred color space on the clip level. The final color space transform happens on the timeline level. Thus, I have the advantage to choose here to output to the various modern monitoring devices, be they SDR, HDR, monitors, or projectors. For now, I will stay in my output color space Rec 709 with a gamma of 2.4. Because I want to emulate an analog film process, I choose now from the multiple contrast curves, print stock emulations and camera negative emulations provided by Look Designer to create my own individual mix. The subtractive color tool is unique to Look Designer and recreates the way analog film is behaving. It allows me to achieve more dense and saturated color tonalities, especially in the mids and shadows. It's quite magical. When I go too far, I just balance it out with the printer lights. Needless to say, I recommend to use a gray card with an 18% gray target, as well as a professional color card in the frame when shooting your show LUT tests. The film emulations are constructed to behave like their analog equivalents, and what is 18% mid-grade to analog film sits close above the value 400 line on your waveform monitor. Thanks to Look Designer, I feel I can concentrate more on the intuitive part of creating a look. The color science that is necessary to build a functioning LUT runs smoothly in the background. Now I am ready to export my new show LUT and check out its behavior. To be sure the LUT represents the values of my Look Designer settings, I save a version for each. The LUT applied on its own versus Look Designer applied on its own, to be able to compare them. If they look identical, I proceed and apply a copy of the Look Designer settings to a standard grayscale and a standard color gradient for a more technical inspection. That's looking great! Now I need to copy Look Designer with its properties to be able to paste it onto the grayscale and after that the color gradient. To get accurate results I have to make sure to set the input profile from my camera profile to the now demanded Rec 709 input profile, because that is the color space that these generated images are made for. Now I'm ready to evaluate the results. All three channels start in one spot in the bottom left corner, representing black, to then unfold the characteristic curves ending in one spot in the top right corner of the waveform monitor, representing white. That's looking good. The same input profile procedure as for the grayscale accounts for the color gradient. Gotta check that input profile to get accurate results. The color gradient helps me to find out whether there are any out of gamut errors. I can see that all colors are contained within the triangle borders of my working gamut of Rec 709 and the vector scope informs me that all colors are within the 100% targets. Now I save a higher quality 65 point cube show LUT for post-production 
and then take the 33 point cube show lot on set to enjoy a test drive. <laughs> Now that we have created our own solid show LUT in Look Designer, it's time to change gear and get into Color Lab AI. Pressing the Import from Resolve button triggers the ingestion of my entire Resolve timeline into Color Lab. Then I need to assign the appropriate camera input profiles for all camera files in order to have them interpreted correctly. I choose a reference shot that I think is representative for my first scene. In the show look section, I am welcomed with a collection of the film emulations that I know from Look Designer. I am looking forward to check them out later. For now, I want to load my own 65 point cube show lot to work on my dailies, so I quickly import it into Color Lab. Now I need to assign the camera profile and the output color space my LUT is designed for. I adjust the CDL parameters of my reference shot using the familiar color tools. The magical subtractive color tool sits next to the printer lights. Lift gamma gain, saturation, contrast, pivot and temperature. It is when using the shortcut keys I can even make precise printer light and subtractive adjustments in full half quarter and eighth points. I can split the difference of the difference of the difference. This level of control makes precision color balancing super effective and fun. Before I start the AI engine, I make sure to separate the different scenes by using ColorLab Scene Marker tool on the right of the timeline. I pre-group the scenes beforehand in Resolve with the help of its grouping tools. They contain shots that are similar in setting and lighting conditions. Shortcut key A or pressing the match scene button ignites the AI engine and unleashes the algorithms. I can fine-tune the engine in the match settings section for different results. ColorLab then offers me various models to choose from and I quickly learn which ones work best for my look. With some minor tweaks, I am ready to attack one shot after another, until the scene is balanced overall. For scene 2 and 3, I follow the same procedure, until all my shots are matched. Meanwhile, my timeline in DaVinci Resolve is waiting with my fixed node tree readily set for each shot. ColorLab knows the precise structure of my node tree because it is possible to link it in its preferences with my selected node tree's DRX file. When ingesting the new parameters back into Resolve, it magically feeds each shot the appropriate CDL and show LUT to their assigned nodes. In case I want to decide at a later point what model to choose, I can have ColorLab send the entire collection of models over to DaVinci Resolve, where I can apply them as versions. Another great thing is the possibility to output a PDF lookbook of my shots. That is an invaluable and direct tool when it comes to communicating about the visual intent towards the heads of departments, but especially with the director, producer and client. Simple, fast and effective. Now I want to sync my resolve timeline with the new CDL values. In ColorLab, it is possible to output to any monitoring color space flavor desired, be it SDR or HDR. I need Ari White Gamut Log C to meet my resolve settings.
Clicking the Resolve Export button starts communicating the CDL values and show LUT over to Resolve, where ColorLab places the CDL and show LUT to their pre-assigned nodes of my fixed node tree. In my case, node number 2 for the CDL and node number 3 for the show LUT. A quick check with the Lightbox tool confirms success. Now I can take it from here in Resolve and spend the game time for the creative grading process. GrainLab is the grain generator designed by ColorLab. It is unique in that it generates individual grain structures for each individual frame, just like it happens in exposed and processed analog film. I have to choose the corresponding color space of my project and the resolution. There are nine different models for me to choose from, relating to 8mm, 16, 35 and even 65mm film. I can change the intensity of the grain structure separately, in the highlights, mids and shadows. Let me zoom in a little bit to be able to evaluate the grain effect. Spark intensity affects predominantly the highlights, body intensity predominantly the midtones and base intensity affects predominantly the shadows. I feel grain is an immanent characteristic in analog film and GrainLab is a great tool to generate and control that in digital film production. There's one more thing that I find extremely useful when working with ColorLab AI and that's the direct link to ShotDeck. ShotDeck is a website that gives you access to a wonderful collection of fabulous film looks. I imported my sunrise shots into ColorLab to show one of the many ways how you can use ShotDeck in conjunction with ColorLab. There's a dedicated button to open ShotDeck in the reference stills section on the right. The search engine from ShotDeck is very powerful and all the shots are cross-linked through metadata. You can apply several search words at once for greater precision. That enables you to do very specific searches. Genre, color, interior, exterior, time period, lens size, lighting type, time of the day and on and on it goes. Once you've found your selection and put it into your own newly created shot deck, you can download the stills into ColorLab and use them as reference stills. An invaluable resource. Once imported into ColorLab, you can order them, give them tags and create mood boards. I spot out one reference still that I want to refer to and head over to the show look section, where I check out the film stock emulations to find a good place to start from. By the way, shortcut keys 1, 2, 3 and 4 let me flip between flat, rec 709, show look and shot look. Now I let the ColorLab AI engine kick in and generate the models. By the way, shortcuts B and N let me quickly flip through the models. I choose one that I feel is close to where I want things to be and go into the color tools to change the CDL values until I'm satisfied with the result. When I have finished, it is possible to save my look to my stills gallery to later use it for matching in its own right. Beside the practical gain in time, the combination of ColorLab and ShotDeck is to me the best tool to learn and understand the DNA of the looks created by the masters of their crafts. I hope you find this ride as exciting as I do. Thanks for watching and have a nice picture.